They call themselves the Student Council. What a bunch of clowns. I would like to welcome you to KTJ. Moreover, the KTJ community is extremely excited for you to be here and be part of the family. I know it might be frightening to become a new student and, um, in a new school, but I can guarantee you will enjoy your time here and the experience that you gain. I can say that with full confidence because I was once in your position. I was once uh, a new student that was scared of everything. However, through time, I became who I am today. Yes, I am filming this in a car. <laughs> so, Student Council isn't just a bunch of students with this shiny badge for show. Um, we take advice from you on how to make school better, and what concerns you have, and etc. Here is one thing we've done from the past with suggestions from many other students, and something that we plan on doing. So last term, I have pitched ideas for the head of facilities to install new water filters into our school boarding houses this is to ensure everyone in KTJ has a good and clean water supply to help them get throughout the whole day. I'll be introducing Mental Health Month, which will be taking place in October. Mental Health Month will have many events, one of which is Mental Health Maroon, an event inspired by Hello Yellow, a UK-based event where people wear yellow to show support for mental health of young people. Other than Mental Health Maroon, there will be other events that will be going on during mentoring classes, assembly and many others, so stay tuned for more. So now you know a bit about what we do, you may be wondering. So how do I contact you guys? Well, you can email or Google chat us in our student council email, or you can also message us on our Instagram, where we also post information about projects we're working on. Please follow our Instagram statistic show that only So do I get a reply if I email you? Yeah, you'll get a reply back from one of the five of us, along with a follow-up about any outcomes. And remember, we're peers, so if you have any ideas or concerns, feel free to stop and talk to us about them. Before the video ends, here are a few tips that might help you during online lessons. So first and foremost guys, you can use stretch breaks. Between classes, your teacher will give you like a 5-10 to 10 minute break. So use the break and like stretch around, move a bit. Cause you're looking at the screen for too long will actually like hurt your eyes. So if you go out and stretch a bit, it will help overcome your zoom fatigue. Secondly, you can engage in more group activities. I know it might be hard since it's online and you're learning from a screen, but it's okay. It's still, it's still worth it. Always wake up earlier than school start. This can help you mentally prepare yourself so if you all wake up, watch some TikTok, watch some YouTube, eat breakfast, just do anything where you can mentally prepare yourself to get yourself in the learning mood. Always put your phone far away from you, either in another room or just another table. Just make sure your phone does not tempt you so you are able to focus clearly. Okay, bye. That's all for me. Eh.